Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT and looks like time to get ready for another Route X test on Gran Turismo Sport. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed the speed making library on the Toyota Supra RC 1997. So, looks like it's time to get ready for one fast FR challenge to be able to get ready for only one race for only two laps. So, looks like this is going to be able to get everything prepared for an experiment test on Route X. So looks like this is going to be quite perfect to be able to bring out one of the most best JDM cars in every Gran Turismo games and this is going to be quite excellent to be able to bring everyone's favorite car could be quite very imagined to be impressed with this good library. So looks like I'll be able to have to do two laps by the usual so looks like this will be able to have to get everything stacked up to be able to get some more cr credits to be able to get everything ready so looks like I'm always really in enjoying with using JDM cars to be able to do a little experiment test on Route X could give it a one good excited for it so it always does to be able to use the N300 category type so this is going to be able to get a good library work to be able to get everything set up and be prepared for it so looks like this is definitely able to have one of the most strongest fastest car in the original Gran Turismo games since 1998 and this is going to be quite excellent to be able to have some good car settings to be able to recommend for it. So the end category type will be able to, to be at N300 so looks like everything is going to be able to have a good setup on quick tune, power ratio 105%, weight reduction ratio is going to be at 84% when reaching up the fifth level is definitely maxed out for it. Now the suspension is definitely able to have some usual tuning in LSDS also. So looks like the transmission gear is definitely going on the sixth gear. So that will might be able to get everything improved and give it a good adjustment. We we'll, might be able to work it out for it. So I hope you super fans are really excited to be able to drive this Toyota to be able to get ready to race for the Super GT500. So, let's have another high speed test and let's see how it improves. So, looks like this is going to be quite excellent to be able to get a good horsepower performance that will also to reach up other than 185 miles. So this will also eventually get the acceleration boost on the fifth gear. So that will might be giving a good jump start to be able to catch up on it. So looks like already reaching up on the sixth gear and looks like the 7th second gap is about to get everything going for it. Just want to see it will also decrease and still going on the increase effect that will also to get everything going. Alright so it also has to be able to get everything catches up on 1700 meters. So this is going to be excellent. Now looks like this is going to be able to get it one step closer. Just going to have to switch on to the interior view. Looks like to give a good choice to be able to use it for it. Okay, so it looks like climbing effect is definitely on the upper hill. It's definitely going on 184. Well, it's always getting great on the long bridge. Here we go, reaching up on 5,000 meters, just going down, and let's see what happens to be able to reach over 190 miles. Very good, very good. One fast Toyota Supra is about to get everything going, and it's reaching up 200 miles. 200 miles to be able to get a good draft run, so this is going to be excellent able to bring out the best car to be able to get a good high speed over 200 miles so this will be quite excellent so that will be an excellent car to be able to race for the NSX type bar good pass and then this is going to be quite giving one easy good step on it Now take a good look at this folks, after reaching 10,000 meters, nothing else to be able to get a good pass on the second straight line course, just pass all of it in one lane, 
that was very excellent for a Toyota Supra to drive fast to be able to get a good run on it. Now, looks like this is going to be able to kick it up on the first turn on this speedway run. Just kind of keep it on going for the middle section on it. So, I kind of guess that the Toyota Supra is definitely giving the best opportunity to be able to use it on Mount X would like to give a good excellent high speed performance that will also to reach up on over to 200 miles that could be quite very perfect to be able to get a good max speed performance so very fastest FR JDM car in every Grand Turismo series and this will keep going to be able to get a good high speed performance that will race with any types of supercars and hypercars as well even group two cars on this track as well because this is going to be quite very efficient that will also to go for a long way ticket to do some track race like having a race for it. For it. But now let's see if this top speed is definitely able to keep up on the current run for it while without taking a draft. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be excellent. 193 miles. That looks very perfect to be able to get a good top speed run like any other cars with 180 mile range is definitely giving a good efficient run to be able to catch up faster so very good transmission here to definitely set up and then this is going to be quite very efficient to be able to get everything going stronger for it i kind of think that the toyota supra is definitely the number one fast jdm cars on special stage out x it's definitely quite giving a good tune-up improvement and also requires to be able to be as an NT on a sports car to be able to drive faster to overtake with two cars in only one single straight line. So that's definitely very excellent. Now this is going to be quite a very good run to be able to get a good top speed distance to be able to get a good catching up distance. So this is definitely quite giving good run to be able to get good distance and also the gap as well definitely going two seconds is definitely quite very good would like to give a good run on it now looks like this is going to be coming in for it go stay on it just kind of keep on to the second turn until this will be able to do the final lap of this race to be able to get everything prepared for it now this is very excellent for this good segment for using the Toyota Super to race in Route X that could be quite excellent to be able to get a good opportunity if challenging the NSX Type R would like to be able to get everything prepared for a high speed race. That could be quite stronger than ever to be able to use with the N300 category type so that will might give it a good run to be able to get started for it. So maybe most other all-wheel drive cars would like to challenge for the Toyota Supra like the Nissan Skyline R33 GTR so this is going to be able to get a good most advantage to bring one of your favorite JDM cars to be able to race on Route X could give everything for one simple drag race to be able to get a lot of more horsepower will get everything boosted up to be able to get some good speed on it that will be quite very impressive to be able to get a good run on so here we go final lap and this is it and this is going to be quite giving the good X one to be able to go on the first straight again so the downhill will be able to go over to 200 miles again. So he'll be able to decrease over at 180 mile range. It's definitely stop at 185. So right now, it's definitely also shown to be decreased. So this will also stop at 5,000 meters to be able to go and downhill and speed up fast. Now, here it goes. And then this will gain, gain some good to be able to reach 200 miles. Excellent. Go 
going. And now, looks like this is going to be almost 200 miles. It's definitely 199. And two second gap is still going on front and still trying to catch up for it because this is going to be excellent for having a good high speed free for using a Toyota or a Supra. That could be the most finely supported vehicle that will race it on Route X. Now, looks like almost there, it's just gonna have to reach the first 10,000 meter to be able to go on to the next turn because going on the plane straight is definitely gonna be important for it. Now we're rolling on the turn. Hold on, I think that the replay recording just definitely makes it stop for the moment. So, it'll just be able to do it fine because this is going to be able to have a good gameplay to be able to race with using the Supra. So that will be my giving a good choice to be able to get everything fastened up and get everything high speed for it. So, this will be a perfect good gap range to be shown when you're in first place. Almost 2.5 second gap is definitely quite giving a good run. Might be able to get a good chance to be able to stay in first place during the custom. Because this will get everything prepared. So that will be able to use this to be able to use as a money making method when you're, whenever you're going to need some more credits to be able to get the historic rate card. So that's important to be able to save up until reaching up to 20 mil is definitely giving the important way to be able to get a good chance on it. Now, looks like reaching, in, reaching up on the fourth test point, and now, I kind of guess that this is going to be able to have a good sector check to be able to do. I think that the third sector just passed now, looks like reaching it onto the fourth sector is definitely keep going on for it. Still keeping up on 193 miles per hour is still going faster and keeps going stronger. Okay, doesn't want to stop right now because this is going to be quite giving a good run to be able to reach up onto the tunnel. Better check on the speed monitor to see how the mileage is definitely going because it's definitely shown on it because it also shows on the 496 miles total for it because it definitely keeps going faster. Can't believe it, Super is definitely shown for the classic type of it. Okay, so it's like definitely at 55 miles. It's definitely current for it. Just checking on the total miles with you Super on Route X. Okay, this is going to be good. Just reaching up until 500. There you go. Looks like I just definitely see it on the interior. Touch three monitor is definitely shown on it. Now, Time for the final stretch to be able to go in for it because this is about to be all done soon. So two second gap distance like the Honda NSX Type R. So this is very excellent to have the most fastest experiment JDM cars race on Route X. So the Supra is definitely ready to go and the challenge for the Honda NSX Type R would be quite very good. So, looks like this is going to be perfect for a Toyota Supra to be able to get a good high speed race to be able to take on the 18 mile track. So, this is going to be excellent. So, ladies and gents, the Toyota Supra RC is now high speed car ready approved. And then, this is going to be an excellent Route X library experience to be able to get prepared for. So, pretty good for 130. 1650 credits to be able to have some good earnings to stack up for it. 
So this will almost dare to reach up to 15 mil. Only 5 million to, to go. And looks like this is going to be quite good to be able to get a good historic race car until going back to the GT League. Now, this is going to be a most fastest JDM car that was definitely on the N300 range to race on Route X with the racing super soft tires. So this is going to be quite perfect for the Toyota Supra to race on Route X and this is going to be the most efficient high speed performance classic JDM car in the 1990s and this is going to be excellent. So maybe for the next race that we'll be able to keep racing on Route X we'd like to be able to keep stacking up some more credits because it's still keep going on for it and this is going to be quite excellent to keep having some JDM cars to be able to race on Route X because looks like Toyota Supra is ready to be prepared for a one good challenge. Well folks, glad that you really enjoyed this race and I hope you liked this library. Thank you very much. And be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. And also to click the bell for some notification uploads if you want to see it. And also the links on the description down below if you really want to see more. Well, thank you for watching for this custom race gameplay and I'll see you guys next time on Gran Turismo Sport and I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing, stay cool.